So still on the subject of double integrals over rectangles, we now have what is known as Fubini's theorem. Suppose that we have z is a function of x and y, and we have a rectangle defined as the set of all ordered pairs x, y, such that x is between a and b, and y is between c and d. There is technically a slightly shorter way of representing this, which is the closed interval from a to b and the Cartesian product of that interval with c to d. So both of these things mean the same thing. Fubini's theorem states that if you wanted to evaluate the double integral over the rectangle r of f of xy dA, you are allowed to do that in one of two different ways. Keep in mind that the way that we created delta a is we multiplied delta x times delta y when they become infinitesimal, they become dx and dy. Fubini's theorem states that you can actually set this up as a pair of iterated integrals. Fubini's theorem also states that the order in which you integrate is up to you. The iterated integrals will work their way from the inside to the outside. So this is indicating that the first iterated integral is going to be with respect to y. The bounds on y go from c to d. So the first iterated integral will be limits c and d, and for dx, that'll be a and b. Fubini's theorem also states that you can reverse that order with no penalty. Instead of integrating with respect to y first, you can integrate with respect to x first. But once again, this integral goes with this variable, and this integral goes with this variable. <clears throat> you can essentially think of this first integral as sort of being inside parentheses according to the order of operations. You do that operation first. <clears throat>